Lima is one of the few places where you can fly so close to buildings. Here, we can fly just a few meters above rooftops, not just over one building, but practically over an entire row of them along Costa Verde. We're lucky that tall buildings line the coast, creating an extension of the ridge. We use these buildings just like a ridge, allowing us to gain even more altitude. There are no legal restrictions on flying near buildings. Of course, for safety, you should keep some distance, especially if you don't have much experience. And, obviously, you can't take off or land on a rooftop. Takeoffs aren't possible because buildings are vertical surfaces and the rotor is very close to the edge. If you tried to take off from a rooftop, you'd be in a rotor. Landing is also extremely dangerous because wind speeds are stronger on rooftops, and if the wind pulls you back, it could end in a fatal accident. However, flying over them is perfectly safe. Not only is it fun, but it's also useful because the wind hitting the building creates an upward lift that helps you climb higher. And, well, it's also a chance to peek at what's happening inside Miraflorino homes. For beginner pilots, I don't recommend flying close to buildings unless you're already above them. Experienced pilots often get close to buildings when they're about two-thirds up. They use the wind to gain that last third of height and fly safely over them. But if you're a beginner, never get close unless you're above the building. Otherwise, you could hit the structure and fall to the ground, which would be a fatal accident. Can we fly over buildings that aren't on the coast but are in the city? Like buildings in San Borja, Jesus Maria, or Pueblo Libre? Number. The buildings near the coast are an extension of the ridge, while those in the city don't have the same laminar wind flow, but rather turbulent air. If you tried to fly there, you'd mostly find rotors and downdrafts instead of lift. Even if it's a tall building without obstacles in front of it, you wouldn't be able to take off or reach it from the coast. Not all buildings provide good lift. The taller and wider the building, the better. A narrow tower will likely cause the wind to escape around it, while a wide building with a large facade acts more like a hill. Luckily, most buildings facing the sea along Costa Verde are tall and closely packed, forming an artificial ridge.